Hi, welcome to my fourth YouTube video on the Type 81 rifle. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the trigger mechanism. To do that, you need to remove the selector, the trigger pin, the hammer pin. First, release the hammer. By turning the selector to fire, put your thumb on the hammer and pulling the trigger. Now to remove the selector. And to do that, you need to push down on this spring, the copper color spring, and it's attached to the locking plate. To do that, I use a screwdriver, I push down on the spring, the back of the spring, and with my finger, I push the selector from the right to the left. The next thing you do is remove the locking plate, the copper color locking plate. Just pull straight up, and it'll come out. This locks in the hammer pin. This locks in the trigger pin. <clears throat> and this spring locks in the selector. The next thing you remove is the trigger. I like using a scribe, and I like to push the pin all the way out. You will note that the pin has a groove on one side. That is the left side. Pull out the scribe and the trigger comes out. There's two wire spring attached to the trigger sear mechanism. You'll notice the trigger has a front sear and a back sear. The next thing you move is the hammer. I use a scribe and I push it right through. The hammer pin is slightly thicker than the trigger pin. The hammer and the hammer spring. This is what the inside looks like uh, without the trigger mechanism. To reassemble, put the hammer in first. Now make sure that the hammer is resting on the BHO. I had it backwards. Put some tension. Put the scribe right through. Hold it in place. Remove the scribe. Oh, it moved. <clears throat> Every time the hammer moves, put the scribe back in, hold it in place. Now 
That's it. And have it all the way through. Should be flush with the right side of the receiver and the left side of the receiver. The next thing you put in is the trigger. It has two wire spring. Make sure they stay in the front. Again, I like using a scribe to push it all the way through to make sure it's aligned. Hold it in position and slide the trigger pin all the way. Like so. Again, make sure it's flush with the right side and with the left side. And the next thing you do is put the locking plate in. First, lock in the hammer pin in an angle. Once that is locked in, when that is locked in, then push down. go any further so pull up again on the pin in a tilt make sure the hammer pin is in there there it is I just heard a click then you push down on the center and it goes over the trigger pin There it is. You, you know you're all the way in. You have locked the hammer pin and the trigger pin if you don't see any copper color plate other than the spring that holds the selector down. I don't need to use the screwdriver. Just push down on the spring with your thumb and slide the selector with it pointing up. With this finger, I'm holding the spring down and I'm pushing the selector all the way in. I'm going to test to make sure everything works fine. Push the hammer down. It's on safe. Pull the trigger. It doesn't fire. Turn the selector to fire. Hold the hammer down with my thumb, pull the trigger, and it goes off. Great. There you have it. This is how you disassemble the uh, trigger mechanism for the T81. Please subscribe. Thank you for joining me.